please help me celebrate of Pomola Sarah as she come off stage. All right, so according to of Pomola Sarah, she, during her last days in high school, she discovered that she could actually write her own songs. And so learning to play the guitar became a necessity. Is that true? Yes, sir. All right. So she said, it got pretty easier when I got my personal guitar. Guitar aside, I love music. I love worship. Quite introverted. I write basically anything. She said she loves God and she lives every day to be more like him. So we are going to have a very good time in this place this afternoon. Are we ready for this? Panel one, you have listened to of Formula Sarah and you have listened to her five songs. What do you have to say about her? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Good song. Wonderful composition. Oh, well, let me reserve my expression of statements. I mean, in the perspective of uh, excellence. But I just want to give a little advice. Your pronunciation should be extremely clear. I'm not saying it's not clear, right? It should be extremely clear. What a wonderful song. God bless you. Hallelujah. Panel two. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sister Sarah, <laughs> I appreciate God for the creative ability that he has given to you. The Lord will continue to bless you in Jesus' name. Amen, Amen. sir. Your tunes are wonderful. Thanks. And uh, I really enjoyed your songs. So I want to say you gave us a, a set of music that can that we can learn on our own. And we can sing along with you. God bless you. Thank you, Thank you sir. Thank you. Panel three, please. Okay. Um, praise God. Hallelujah. Sister Sarah, I love your song. Thank you. I love your lyrics. Um, but I actually have issues with your strumming pattern. Yes, I have issues. You need to work on your strumming pattern. And okay, you need to work on the grip. You need to hold your chords firmly. That's all I have. Thank you, ma'am. Hallelujah. Panel four, please. Okay. Your songs are so inspiring. Thanks. I like the combination of the melody with the text. You've done that excellently. Like for the so first song, I like your first song. The other songs are okay, but it's not something that I want to sit down and always want to listen to and remember always, like the first song. And I feel as the competition is going, you are supposed to give in your best. Like you start from good, better, best. So, but you did a great job. Thank, Thank you. Well. Hallelujah. Please celebrate Sister Sarah. Amen. So now to the Chief George. The first thing I did when I encountered your song was to go back to your citation. And what caught me, you said you compose basically anything. Then I began to pay attention. That it seemed as if there's something more important about this composer. I intentionally did a review of your song and other people's song. And there is something I found. I will explain to you. When we gave out this information about the new song challenge, we said pick a phrase from the existing new song and use it to create a different story for yourself. I wanted to find out whether you actually did that. And I discovered that all your topics were different. The topics or the title of your songs were different. But I was not convinced, so I had to go through your lyrics and begin to search out what are the elements of new songs that you use in each of them. I discovered that it was carefully done. I will tell you, look at it. In song one, you use new song to create your own song. 
in your round two, you use everything becomes brand new. And you tie to the song, Take Me Home. So Take Me Home is talking about, I want to see God. So you are now, you are now bringing in everything becomes brand new. Like, I want to see God. I want to make heaven where things will be brand new. I think that got at me. In your round three, you said all things have passed away, which is also part of the fragment from the new song that you have taken. Next one, in your round four, you use all things have passed away, but I now discover that you also chose something from your round three in order to compose the song of your round four, which was also part of the information that was passed on our social media and also sent to everyone. So which means, is it that you pick from the new song or you pick from what you have just composed newly to create something new? This is brilliant. Please, can you give Irons of applause? <laughs> All this that I'm talking about are what I have personally reviewed about this work. In your round five, you use I will sing. I was looking for, okay, maybe I'll find new song. New song was not there. You, you call the song Eli Wileshe. I thought everything is Yoruba. But when I went through the lyrics, I was looking for something that relates to new song, which is the existing song. And I found I will sing. And, you know, in the original song, it said, like, God has put a new song in my mouth. I will sing. You are brilliant. Please, can you celebrate this woman? Okay. Now, I have an issue. And that issue has to do with your diction, just like what others have said. I think there's a video. You need to confirm it. Please go to that video. You listen to it so that you can confirm. You need to work on your diction. You put a new song in my mouth. New song in my mouth. You put a new song in my mouth. Today, oh days. And you put a new song in my mouth. New song in my mouth. Put a new song in my mouth. Which mouth? Is it Mao or Malu? Or what are you trying to say? <laughs> mouth. Do you get this? And I can see that the first judge also talked about that. You know, so you need to pay attention to your diction. Because if you don't pay attention to it, although it's not that does not reflect in all your songs, but in some of the songs you had issue with your diction, your pronunciation. So diction has to do with pronouncing the last consonant of your words so that we will know whether it's mouth or you are talking about mao. If it's mao, what's the spelling of mao? I don't understand. So this is just the issue that I think I have with your composition. Then your melodies are rememberable. Yes. So these are part of what we are talking about, and I think that's a good one. Now you need to prove to us that you can compose a song. Sure. Please. Pick the guitar. Since you said you can compose basically anything, use anything as the word to compose a song. You have five minutes to do that. Anything ever give to you? Anything ever give to you? You're the God who gives me everything. Oh, 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 everything I ever give to you, everything I need is from you. Oh, you're the God who gives me everything. I That's okay. Need That's okay. That's okay. Look at it. You just made a song here right now. Please come on, celebrate this star. In less than two minutes, you brought something forth. Oh, my God. Okay, I think now it's clear that it's not your mommy that composed all those songs for you. <laughs> now it's clear that it's not your friends that composed those five songs for you. You've just proven your worth. And this is what the world is looking for. Situations where you have companies looking for someone to compose a, 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 an anthem for them, and they are ready to pay you millions. Inspiration is scarce, especially true inspiration, but you've got one. Please, can you celebrate this one? 
So on a general note, I am going to give you an award of marks. The general assessment of your music from round one to five, I give you excellence. Thank you, sir. The uniqueness in the style of your composition, I give you excellence. Thank you, sir. Compositional techniques and consistency in the use of forms and structure. I discovered that you are using verse and chorus form, verse and chorus form in all your songs. And that's consistent. So you're already making us know that you have a style which is unique and peculiar to what you do. I give you excellence for that. The use of vocal skills to enhance the delivery of your songs, although I was not hearing too much of uh, trills, too much of uh, ad libs, but that doesn't really matter. That doesn't really matter. You have done very well. I give you good for that. Thank Please, you. can you clap for her? Vocal management, tonality, tonal stability, singing, avoiding singing off key, and uh, avoiding stress in your voice, I think I give you excellence because your voice was not stressed at any point at all. Then personal traits and character. Now, audience, please listen. Uh, before they got to this stage, we engaged them. We engaged them in recording and production of their songs. But they did not know that it was not only the songs we were interested, we were also watching their character. We are watching their personality. We are watching their actions and reaction. Because we don't want to give you a crown and eventually you do not last on the throne because of your character. You know? And for that character, you have a very, very good character. Please, can you give her yes, a round of applause for that? You did not complain. You are very, very good in endurance. Please, yes, can you sir. give her a round of applause? Yes, Spontaneity and instant composition ability. That is the mark you are getting right now. I give you excellence. Thank you, sir. Courage in composer's challenge, that is ability to face the crowd. You have just demonstrated one, that you can face the crowd. So you have demonstrated courage in facing the crowd. I give you excellence for that. Please, can you give a round of applause? And that is the end of your own challenge. Congratulations. Please jam your hands together for Miss Sarah Formola as she leaves the stage.